Hello everyone, I'm Adriza. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about The Striker by Anna Huang, which is the latest release. This is a 595 page book revolving around Asher Donovan, who is an extremely famous footballer in the Anna Huang universe. We have seen him in previous books like Twisted Hate and this book is about him. So uh, Asher has shifted from Holchester United which was his home team to Black Castle and is actively butting heads with Vincent Dubois, Black Castle's captain. When this butting heads goes to uh, an amount which escalates to an amount that they lose a match very badly, the coach decides that both of them need one-on-one -on -one practice under a ballet teacher during the off season turns out the ballet teacher is vincent's sister scarlett dubois scarlett is a prima ballerina who suffered a very very bad accident and can no longer actively dance on stage she is a teacher at the ballet academy and she has a no dating footballer rule because of her past relationships also she has seen her brother and his friends and she has this no footballer dating rule until asha donovan storms into her life and things fall apart and together at the same time now this was a book that was as i told you it was 595 page book it took me two and a half days to complete and anna huang is one of my favorite authors and the moment asher was introduced in her other books i was really excited to read about him and i wanted to know how his trajectory of life will reflect and determine what happens to other people around him uh, in this universe and i gave it a three star uh, that being said, I'm going to talk to you about why I gave it a 3 star and what I thought could have been better. Despite Anna being one of my favorite authors and I have loved her books previously, I read this book on Kindle Unlimited and I'm rethinking about whether to actually order the hardcover or the paperback in a physical format. The book felt very formulaic. There was a prima ballerina, there was an athlete, and I have read books like this in the past. Even how Asher feels throughout the book towards his parents and the pressure from everyone about fame and everything else is very formulaic. Uh, the only parts that were even relatable and were well written was when Scarlett was having thoughts about jealousy and envy towards her current students because uh, she is unable to participate. I I relate to that a lot being a teacher myself so that was the only point in the entire book and a couple of other points which did uh, come out to me which uh, made a good impression really otherwise this book was so formulaic and this book could have been completed in 300 pages maximum it dragged on and on and on and even the bonus epilogue that I read about um, Asher's proposal was so formulaic and so basic that I felt for a time that why did I even bother to pick this book up that being said I'm really excited about the second book in the series which will revolve around Vincent and I think that will have a little more potential than um, this current book did I'm not saying that you shouldn't be reading this it's a good book uh, for one time read but it's not something that you have to keep getting back to because Anna has had better uh, male main characters and female main characters in the past who have stood out this was unfortunately not one of them <laughs> the worst thing that happened was I could predict the plot extremely well maybe because I have read too many books which have had similar premises in the past or maybe because I have read all books of Anna Huang and now I'm struggling to uh, understand why the spark was missing but something just went really wrong in this book for me and I was really 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 disappointed and this is something I did not expect because I I usually love her books I love her books and despite the fact that she wrote the book well the English and grammar and vocabulary and everything else was very well written uh, and her style is just as addictive otherwise I would not have just read the book at one go in two and a half days her character despite shining sometimes needed a lot more development than I um, 
than she is given credit for. I'm really hoping that she picks it up in her next book of Vincent and I'm really looking forward to reading that book whenever it does get released. Anyway, I hope you still give this book a chance and do let me know in the comments if you have read it and what are your thoughts on it and if they are different from mine, I respect it. Again, to reiterate, this is just my opinion, does not mean she's a bad author. She's a very good author and I implore you to pick her books up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time seeing my video. I will link all the links including my own social media down in the description box for you to check out and if you think that i missed something in the review do let me know in the comments down below and also let me know what other books of anna huang did you like and what are you currently reading thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye